Good morning, welcome back. Another day, another coffee. I guess the correct term would be latte, but I'm so excited because I picked up this Malk creamer in the caramel flavor yesterday at Sprouts. I was in Sprouts yesterday picking up more of these culture pops. I'm obsessed with this watermelon and lime flavor and I don't even love watermelon flavored things. This is insane. So I had to pick up more of these and they were buy one get one free too. So I kind of stocked up. But sometimes one of my favorite things to do is browse like Sprouts, Fresh Market, Whole Foods, those places because I don't normally shop there and I know that they have a lot of fun items that I don't get in my normal Publix when I shop on a weekly basis. So I really browse in there because it's just so fun to see all the stuff that they have. And I saw this and I'm so excited. So I usually use the Nut Pods, but the Nut Pods has like a lot of additives this does not. So it just has filtered water, organic coconut sugar, organic almonds, organic tapioca fiber, Himalayan pink salt, and baking soda. So I'm gonna try this in my coffee today. Still doing the collagen and then the cashew milk. I'm just so excited about this. And I don't think it'd be weird to mix cashew milk and then this, which is like an almond and coconut base. I did also only see two flavors of this. I saw caramel and then vanilla, and I thought vanilla was kind of boring, so. And I love caramel flavored things. So we're doing that. So I just did a half crush, half regular, or like a quarter regular of ice. And then I always do a half a cup of milk. And then of collagen just changed my battery but it kind of looks like espresso is already in there just gonna take some cinnamon and then brew the espresso over top or coffee whatever you have It looks incredible. Let's give it a taste. Wait a second, this is amazing. This is so good. Highly recommend if you have a Sprouts near you. I bet it's at Whole Foods. So, so, so yummy. The only issue is, is obviously since there's no gums in it, which go them, no gums is great, but it doesn't last as long as like other creamers would last because there is nothing to keep it fresh for longer in here so it does only last seven to ten days in the fridge just like milk but there's so many servings in here let's open up all the blinds it is such a nice morning my pajamas are from Victoria's Secret. I did get them last year on sale. I think they have like different colorways of this still available. Um, it's the For Love and Lemons and Victoria's Secret collab, but PJs of the day. And then my favorite Ugg slippers. These are so comfy. I think they're back in stock again, so I'll link them. Perfect slipper as we approach the colder months. And then I get so many questions about my coffee cups and they're from Amazon. <laughs> It's later, I just took a shower, clearly, and I made a culture pop, the watermelon lime. I don't know if it's the lime in it, but it is insane. So much better than the poppy watermelon flavor. I don't even really like that flavor. Anyways, just put on comfy clothes. I'm about to do my new face. I do this every day. And truly, I have noticed such a difference, especially after using it and when you're consistent with it. I try to do this every single day 
and I've been doing it. I got this Black Friday of last year, which I recommend buying it around a holiday because it goes on major sale, especially for Black Friday. It's probably one of my favorite purchases. It's a little time consuming, which is the only con, but if you use it every day, it truly makes a difference. I wake up earlier in the morning before work. It's been great, so I'm keeping up with this up until the wedding and obviously after, but I'm being trying to be very consistent with it, even on like days that I don't wanna do it, just because the wedding is coming up. Sorry, it's hard to do this when it's on my neck. Hold on. Okay, now that I'm on this part of my face, um, it's 4.18 now, I'll probably just hang out the rest of the day at home and then I'll probably eat leftovers for dinner. I made tacos or like taco bowls last night. So I'm gonna have leftovers for dinner and then kind of just hang out. Since we did spend all day in the sun, two of my friends Taylor and Maya came over and we went to the pool, hung out, talked all afternoon and then came back up and talked for another couple of hours. And they just left and Christian is on his bachelor trip this weekend. So it is really nice, low key weekend where I can just chill, unplug, kind of relax and get some like good quality alone time, which I'm grateful for. Um, I of course miss him, but it's always nice to kind of like be by yourself and he just sent me a photo right now. Um, and yeah, he's having the best time and I'm so happy that he's enjoying himself. But when you live together with your significant other, we do have a great schedule where I am a morning person and he is a night person. So I get the mornings to myself and he gets the evenings to himself because I go to sleep relatively early. So we have a great balance of alone time. It's always great and it's always healthy in a relationship to have these like days where the other person traveling, doing whatever, and you're home. So that's always really really nice it's making me a little jealous though that he's on his bachelor trip because i am now like so excited for mine yeah i'm excited to have a three-day weekend off of work it'll be just so nice to kind of get a break from all that and then have a short week next week anyways it's relatively quick once you get through one side i always section off my face one side and then i'll go in and do the other side I am so sick of this dark spot on my face. I don't know how to get rid of it. I have tried literally everything. If any of you have tips on how to get rid of a dark spot, I also have another one forming that's new down here. I just don't know what to do. It's just a little frustrating. Obviously when I use self tanner, it makes the dark spot darker and more noticeable than when I don't have any self tan on my face. But I just don't know what to do anymore because I've been using retinols, I use active ingredients, I wear sunscreen every single day. Even when in the winter, when I'm not going outside, when I drive in my car, I have sunscreen on, no matter what. Even if I don't leave my house. That's done. I'm gonna take my hair out of my towel. It's later. I just had dinner. I had leftover taco salad and I picked this up yesterday and I'm kind of craving something sweet. So I thought I would make a couple of these for dessert. And I'm so excited because I didn't get to try these last year. They were out of stock by the time I went. So I'm excited to try them. I know it's a little bit early for fall stuff. They smell so good. They never carry this flavor at Publix. I looked all last fall and they never had them. And I remember I went to Whole Foods towards the end of October and they were out of stock at that point. So I'm very excited. I think I'm gonna make two. Moment of truth. I let them cool for a little bit. These are going to be my obsession in the fall. I woke up thinking about this coffee recipe. Today on the agenda is laundry. Need to wash the bed sheets. I think I'm gonna start a load right now actually, just so I can get 
a head start. It is so much later. I am on my fifth load of laundry. I have one more and then I'm done. It's around two o'clock. I'm about to head out to the grocery store and get my groceries for the week. It's not much and that way I don't have to worry about it tomorrow. I am taking a hot matte Pilates tomorrow with my friend Maya. We're doing that at 10 a.m. I just got off the wait list, so I'm excited. So I think I'm just gonna like do all my house chores today. I think I'm gonna deep clean the apartment. I'm washing the bed sheets in both rooms, grocery shopping, I'm not meal prepping this week, just not even gonna worry about it. And that way tonight when I go to sleep, I could just <laughs> sleep soundly knowing that everything's done and I don't have to worry about it. I'm so bad at remembering to bring my bags. So I have all my Publix bags right here. These are Christmas bags, but I need to be better about bringing my reusable bags. So I have those. I'm trying to decide. I'm wearing this cute set from Daily Drills. I got it in the spring and I'm wearing that today, but I've got a new bag and I wanted to carry it today. I did get white because I thought it was fun for a lot of bride things coming up, like bachelorette trip, bridal shower, honeymoon, just the wedding weekend and everything. And I love winter whites. I don't follow that silly rule of no white pants or anything after Labor Day. Here is what it looks like. It is the Laura Piana dupe. I would never, ever, ever in a million years spend that much on a bag of this size. I think this is like $35 on Amazon. Comes in so many colors, so I'll link it down below. It fits a decent amount. I can't fit my camera, my phone, and my whole car key set, like car key and wallet, but if I were to take my cards out and just have my key and a lip balm, it would fit in here. It is pretty small. It does come with a strap too, but I think the strap is like, it's such a different fabric than the bag and I feel like it makes it look cheap. So just carry it with this little strap and you can obviously tuck it like that. So cute, but it doesn't really go with my outfit. I'm wearing these shoes from Zara. They have that brown color. So I think this pouch kind of goes better and this pouch has a strap too attached to it so I don't have to carry it necessarily like this but yeah that's the plan for today I don't even know why I put on a cute outfit because I'm just gonna come back probably change and deep clean the apartment so <laughs> no point of really dressing cute but anyways we're gonna go place a target pickup order and then we're gonna go to Publix and then come back I really hope you can't hear the washer, but I was about to walk out the door and my Amazon package that I ordered this morning just came in. I am so sick of all under the cabinets that we have. There's no lighting and it's so backlit in my kitchen. So I got lights that look like this that you can just put up under the cabinets off of Amazon. And we're going to see how they work. And I think... I think it's just done by, yeah, magnets. So you put this up under and then it just connects because you detach them to charge and you can have them be motion censored or not. Okay, I'm gonna charge these and then when we get back from the store, I'm going to install them. I just got home from the grocery store and these are already done charging and I think I was gone for less than an hour. Basically, you can have them on auto, which is motion censored, or you can just have it on. I think I'm gonna put one under here, right above the coffee maker. And then I'm thinking another one right under here, right by the sink. Since we're putting a light above the coffee maker, it doesn't make sense to put one over here. And there is a light underneath the microwave. So I think it makes most sense to maybe put it under here, but we'll see. Okay, so it's on auto. 
I love that. <laughs> I love that. Okay, let's install the other one. Here is the kitchen with the lights. I also have the light above the stove on, but I feel like it kind of balances out the lighting in the kitchen, which I really like, and I love the under lights. I feel like it's also nice to just have, especially at nighttime, to have these kind of dimmer lights on. I feel like it's really great add to the kitchen, to be honest, and it was so easy to put them up. So I can link them down below if you're interested and you're like me and you have no lights underneath your cabinets in your home or apartment, wherever you live. These are amazing. And I love how you can switch between like the different color lights. So you can have it, you can obviously also dim them, but you can have different colored lights depending on what you want, so. I just changed into like a comfy outfit to clean the apartment and I don't know what it is. I feel like I always have to wear socks when I clean the apartment, but I'm gonna get to cleaning and then once it's done, I can kind of just like relax. That's what I'm doing now. I'm excited, I can't wait to, I love deep cleaning the apartment because after nothing beats the feeling. I just finished cleaning and I want to light a candle or a couple candles. I wanna put a couple candles around and I keep this big basket of candles of ones that I don't really burn through. Like that pumpkin is from last year. I didn't get through all of it before I switched out for the Christmas scented candles. I'm kind of tempted to light this candle that I got last year from Trader Joe's, the vanilla pumpkin, and I think I'm going to do it. I have this one that I'll probably put out in the middle of September. I'll probably start. Honestly, it might even be next weekend because I feel like I don't get enough time with the fall scented candles before I switch to Christmas, which is probably November. <laughs> like right after Halloween, it is instant Christmas candles. So I think I'm going to light this one. So I think I'm gonna put this candle in the extra bathroom. Also, if you can hear the washing machine, I'm on my second to last load of laundry and I just started it. But I think I'm going to light it in here. I don't really light this. Actually, I don't light this candle at all. And I probably won't ever. I, I kind of just like it as a decoration. This is actually what I got my bridesmaids when I asked them to be my bridesmaid. The set of candles came with nine and I only have eight bridesmaids so I got to keep one. So I'll probably just stick this candle right here and light it. This candle I have out here, I'm almost done with it. My dad got this for me for Christmas and I still have it. It reminds me of my dad's house. This is always the candle that he has burning. It's just the village candle, which I think is a knockoff version of Yankee candle. They sell these at Publix, um, the fresh linen one. Reminds me of him as well as the balsam because he always is burning one of those in the kitchen year round. So I'm gonna light this, it reminds me of him. It's like comforting. I have this one in here, which is also a pumpkin scented candle. It's almost done. 
Last thing on the agenda is laying out all my little towels. <laughs> I was craving breakfast for dinner, so that's what I made. Made avocado toast with a hard boiled egg grated on top. I hard boiled some eggs a couple days ago and had some left over, so I just took a cheese grater and grated them on top. It's so good. And then some chicken sausage, and I love dipping chicken sausage in cottage cheese. It's been something I've been obsessed with lately. And the cottage cheese would even be so good with some hot honey drizzled on top. But this is what I'm having for dinner. I always try and talk myself out of cooking dinner, especially after I deep clean the apartment. But I've been really trying to focus on not always needing, well, I'm always really, I'm good about it. I'm gonna give myself some credit. I am very good about eating at home, but really trying to focus on saving, obviously, for all the wedding stuff that's coming up. So it's just been a priority for me to eat at home and save. And plus it's not normal to always eat out or you don't need to eat out all the time. So just really been focusing on that so as much as i did want to eat out because my kitchen is clean i have food at home i have plenty of food at home so Send a picture to Christian. I think it looks so good. Let me see. I need to turn off my alarm. I just got a notification. There is no better feeling than on a Sunday night. You have Monday off and you get to turn off your alarm. Now, I hope I remember to turn back on my alarm. But also, does everyone have their alarm set up like this? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I wake up at a specific time. Friday I wake up at 6.10 because I have to be the office at 8 for my 8 a.m. meetings. And then obviously on Thursdays I wake up before work to work out. <laughs> so that one's the one that I dread. The 4.50 a.m. It's just, I dread Thursdays. They're my longest days. But I have to remember to turn it back on for Tuesday, Wednesday. But I have them on continuous alarms. I cannot handle the anxiety of having to turn my alarm on every single day. No, I just, and I don't sleep through my alarm. I've only done that twice in my life. And I feel like that's pretty good as a 29 year old to only sleep through your alarm twice. I don't know what happened. I don't think my phone sound was on, but. Let me see what I look like. I haven't brushed my hair. I need to, I need to go take a shower and take off my makeup. But there is no better feeling than going to bed on a Sunday night not having work the next day because you have the day off. A clean apartment or home. Fresh, clean bed sheets. The type of piece that I'm about to go to sleep with because one, I don't have work. Two, I have clean bed sheets and I can just melt into them knowing that I don't have to wake up for an alarm. I can't even begin to describe the feeling that I have. Grocery shops, laundry's done. I have my last load in the dryer clean bed sheets on. I'm about to take a shower, do my skincare. No better feeling. I'm gonna get in the shower. I love these lights, by the way. I need to turn the lights back off now that I'm done. I just got out of the shower and I'm gonna make a tea and I'm gonna do my red light therapy. This is for your neck and your chest and then this is for your face. I always do this duo. I either do spearmint or peppermint and then always lemon balm. I love mixing these teas. And then I've been using my Breville for teas lately. I used to use like a teapot or honestly the microwave. And recently I've just been loving using this because it's so easy. And it usually takes about 20 minutes to cool down. So by that time, this is done. So I like to get it good to go by the time I get my mask started. I'm also wearing plaid boxer shorts 
and heart socks. Love a good mix match combo. <laughs> Only con about using this machine for tea is I feel like I have to fill it up with water so much more. I just changed for the Pilates class that I'm taking. It's like a hot matte Pilates with my friend Maya. And I'm wearing just a set active set. It's the Sculpt Flex box cut bra and leggings. And then this tank top is just a boys, like a little boys Hanes tank. And I feel like it hits at like the perfect length. And I love working out in them. And I have a big scrunchie to put my hair on top of my head. And then slides. And then I have my yoga mat and yeah, I'm really nervous. I just have my hair clipped up for right now, but I know it's going to be on top of my head the second that I walk into that room. So I'll let you know how it is. I'm excited. Just got home a little bit ago. I showered and now I'm about to cook some lunch. I highly recommend the place that we went for hot mat Pilates. They also do reformer Pilates and I really, really enjoyed it. It was such a good challenge. I was walking up the stairs to my apartment and my legs are already sore. It was incredible. I've only done a hot yoga class before so I've never done a hot Pilates and it was really, really good. I did sign up for two classes. They had like a two class special and you have to use them up within the first month, but I'm definitely going to be going. I really liked it, but it's just not in the budget. And I told myself like, if you like it, you can't do it because it's just not, um, it's just not in the wedding budget these days, but it's so fun. And I know that class pass, you can use your class pass um, drop-ins there as well. So if you have that, but Really liked it. If you live in the Orlando area, I don't know if they have locations outside, but they definitely have them all around Orlando. Highly, highly recommend. So did want to mention that it was such a good workout. And then we went to go get smoothies and wellness shots after. And now I just got back showered and now I'm making some lunch. Probably just going to hang out on the couch, kind of just relax. I've had such a nice relaxing weekend. Truly, it's been just amazing. So I'm probably just going to relax for the rest of the day, get ready for another work week. I already did all my grocery shopping, laundry, cleaned, so I don't have to worry about a single thing today. I might edit my YouTube video later today so I can try and post it Wednesday. I don't know if I'm going to finish it today, but I need to get back on like editing and posting more frequently. I do post every seven days, but um, would like to kind of get out like a couple more videos to try and get a little bit closer to as real time as it can get for YouTube. It's 1.15, so I'm gonna make some lunch, do some skincare, I still need to do all my skincare. I might sit with that mask on after I eat. It's like, you're supposed to leave it on for three to four hours, but it's super moisturizing. I got it off of Amazon, let me show you. I'm definitely not putting on any makeup today. I'm just letting my skin breathe, which I did that on Saturday. It's always nice. I don't do it enough. I need to do it more. But this is what the mask looks like. It comes in a pack of a bunch of them. And you basically leave it on. You can sleep in them. I have slept in them before. They're just not super, super comfortable to sleep in personally. But if you have time, like three to four hours, or if you work from home, this is such a great thing to like throw on to really moisturize your skin. You're supposed to put hyaluronic acid or something below it. So I usually do the road below it because it does have a ton of hyaluronic acid and the best way to get hyaluronic acid into your skin is to put it on damp skin or something with like a product or a serum so i do the road and then this so i leave it on for three to four hours up until it is translucent so i'm probably gonna do this after i eat because it is really hard to do it when you're eating mm -hmm. 